Hey guys, how are you? Uh, I'm bringing you guys uh, another uh, Adobe Photoshop tutorial, and uh, this one is gonna be uh, like showing you how to put two images into one, and uh, put the image that you want into the first image, and make it look like it uh, was actually in there. So, uh, for example, I'm gonna I've already gotten the pictures and I got this picture of a sky and then if I click the second tab I have this jet so uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how you could uh, put this jet and uh, put it like if it was flying in the sky and uh, it's not gonna be it's not gonna I'm not gonna go into depth or anything and like make it perfect I'm just gonna show you guys the basics so you know how to do it and then once you do it once you try it out yourself uh, you can also sharpen it up how you want and uh, make it look more real and uh, like if it was actually there. This is just showing you how to uh, put it in the image. So uh, first, since we if you need to get your images, and since we already have them, uh, you're gonna get the second image and uh, hit the uh, marquee tool. Uh, uh, go over the whole image and highlight it or whatever and I hit copy that by hitting control C go back to your first layer uh, just click on it and then hit control V to paste it and uh, once you did that go to your uh, your polygonal lasso tool some people like to use magnetic but I just like the polygonal just so you can actually do it yourself and uh, get it how you want so uh, first you're just gonna outline the this plane and uh, We'll do this pretty quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to be a uh, rough outline of the uh, plane. Because once we get the plane, we're going to put it in the back. Like we're going to make this smaller and put it in the back. So if so, it's like we were on the ground. We're taking the picture up, and uh, we see the plane in the sky, and it's just passing by, and it's it's not like we're gonna see that much detail so once you get the picture selected you're gonna right click on it click layer via copy it's gonna appear in a separate layer from the first one and you can just delete the uh, picture the one with the sky in the background here so just delete that and what you're left with is this uh, this jet so uh, now that you have the jet you can move it around and everything uh, you can go to show transform controls at the top and you also have to be on the little pointer tool for this or you could go to uh, edit and then transform and then scale but I'm just gonna do show transform controls and we're gonna scale it down and uh, try to make it like if it's small and everything and if it's just passing by see how this looks apply the transformation and uh, right now it looks like it's in the picture we just have to uh, blur it in there and uh, try to trim off some more you want to get it as down close as you can but I'm not going to do that just for uh, time and uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can go to the smudge tool not the smudge tool the blur tool go to the blur tool and then you're gonna uh, try to uh, zoom in a little bit and uh, also make your uh, blur tool a little bit uh, smaller so you can uh, actually blur it that's too much blur actually and you're just gonna go over it a little bit it's actually too much ooh hold up accidentally scaled this back in I right, get it down again and just that small apply then blur you're just gonna go over it real fast just to make it seem like the camera didn't really focus on it and uh, zoom back out see how it looks it looks pretty good we need to make it smaller and higher up because the airplane won't be flying that low It'll probably be up here and uh, I'll probably scale this down more and uh, apply it and uh, see how it looks so now we have the airplane in the sky and uh, if you want to make it look more real you can play around with the lighting of the image and uh, blur it, smudge it, do whatever you have to 
and uh, so yeah that's pretty much how you uh, put an image inside another image and uh, I think it's called overlaying images but uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys and uh, if you have any questions about uh, Adobe Photoshop or how or you don't understand how to do something in this tutorial just leave a comment uh, on this video don't forget to uh, subscribe if this video helped you and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.